Hi there, this is Jill Woods from Crowd Connections and this is the next in my WordPress snippet series of videos just looking at little elements of WordPress and how you can use them to improve your websites. Um, today's video is looking at the sidebar and how you put new elements into your sidebar on your WordPress site. If you've got your site set up for more than one column, you will have a sidebar. You might have one over on the right or the left or you could very well have two if you've got a three column site set up. So really quickly I just want to show you how you add elements to that sidebar. Okay so you go into your dashboard up here hopefully that will connect pretty quickly. Yeah, there we go. Um, and now the section we want to go to is appearance down the left hand side here. If it's not showing this drop down menu, just click on the little grey arrow to the right of it and it'll open up and then click on widgets. And that's going to take us through to the section that we want. OK, over on the right hand side, you can see my primary sidebar and the two elements that are currently on it. This is my sign up box for my newsletter and this is my Twitter feed. And then over on the left, you can see all the different elements that are available to you to insert into that sidebar. Now, how this looks when you open it on your site might be different because it does depend on the theme that you've got set up on your website and the plugins that you're using. Um, that will vary what appears in this left hand side and also what this looks like over in the right hand side here. But you should have a primary sidebar element no matter what the software is and the theme is that you're using um, on your website. OK, so really, really quickly, all you do to add elements to that sidebar is to identify the, the element that you want, click on it and drag it across. You can position it wherever you want in that sidebar by just clicking and dragging and up and down and you can reposition it. I'm going to pop this one at the bottom like that and then it will open up a little dialog button. Uh, little dialog box for me. If there are any any elements within that item I've put on the sidebar that need personalising. So this is just asking me what do I want to identify on the calendar, do I want to do when I post posts, when my pages were done. So I'm going to leave it at post for now and save. You can see on here on the theme I have, I have this option to show um, different elements in the sidebar on different pages on the website. So if I click on that, it will list all of the pages I've got on my website here. And I can tick or untick if I want that particular element on the sidebar to be visible on that page. OK, but for now, I'm just going to leave those all ticked and I'm going to go to the bottom and click on save. So that's um, a calendar. And then once the little grey spin has stopped spinning, you can close that down. And then I'm going to go to, what else can we put in here? Oh, the other one that's pretty really good to have on your sidebar is a, uh, if I can find it, is a search. Here we go. A search bar. So this enables people to search, type in a word and search your website for the content they're looking for. Um, and again, you can put it anywhere you want on the sidebar. I'm going to drop it to the top there. It'll spin. And then in this instance, there's no other options for me to fill in other than the visibility. But obviously, I want that to appear on every site on the site. So any page on the site, sorry. So we'll click Save. And oh, it didn't spin. There we go. Spinning. And then it's done. So we can close that. Now, if we head over to the home page up here, you should see, there we go. At the top, we've now got this great little search bar where people can type in whatever it is they're searching for, click go and it'll search the website for them. And then if I scroll down here, we've got a little calendar that's showing the dates of my blog posts. And when you hover over them, it shows you the title of that blog post. Um, so uh, people can track down and see what you've what you've written recently. And if you then want to change your mind and say, oh, actually, I don't want that in that location or I don't want it on that particular oh, wrong button, sorry, dashboard. I want dashboard, not edit page, dashboard. Um, so simply go back into your dashboard, go back down, appearances, widgets, over to the right hand side. And if I decide I don't want my calendar, I don't want that calendar to appear on the site, I can simply click on it. And I can either open the button, scroll down to the bottom, and there's an option here to delete. I can click delete and it will delete it. Alternatively, the easier way to do it is just to click on that and drag it back over here, anywhere in here, and just drop it. 
and it will take it off the sidebar okay and then if I said actually I want to put the search button further down let's put it in the middle here I can just change that okay spins and then I go back to my home page scroll down the search bar is near is now in between these other two elements and the calendar's gone off the bottom so it really is that simple to add in elements and take elements away um, from your sidebar so I hope you found that useful please put any comments or questions you have in the box below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and thank you very much for your time